Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas day 19. I've actually been awake for a while and I just crawled back into bed because I just don't want to do anything and I don't want to move. But I haven't had my coffee yet so I need to get up because I want it so bad. But I'm just warm and cozy in here. I want to see my dogs though. Morning! Good morning! You're standing on my computer! Oh! Hi! Aww! I'm about to just do my same little morning coffee routine that I do every day, just a new location. Because where do you think I got that habit from? My family. Which coffee should I have? Apple crumb donut, pecan pie. I'm gonna have that. I'm a big mom. <laughs> All mama wants is a silent night. Baby, baby. Why is that so loud? Oh, this is today. They didn't even do yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. Or the day before that. They haven't even been doing it. We'll give them today. Oh, Look, it's a bone. Okay, one of you can have today and one of you can have yesterday. The blue one. Catch! Oh, and here you go. There's cream cheese on my steering wheel. Hopefully they won't notice that when they inspect the car. We're going to the grocery store. I'm with my brother. Oh, I'm with my brother. And we're going to the grocery store to get stuff to make a gingerbread house. Don't look at the cream cheese. What song should I play? I don't know. That doesn't help. First mission is getting coffee creamer because my coffee was disgusting low key. Because I use pecan pie coffee with peppermint mocha creamer. Which one should I get? Where are the Christmas ones? Cinnamon roll? Yeah. We do the whole village <laughs> or we can do Hershey's or we do a village. We each get our own house. Where's just like the plain one? There's a minion one. <laughs> is that normal? Why is it like Play-Doh? Oh, wait, edible? I don't know. <laughs> Where are the regular ones? They have like every kind besides just like a plain one. I just looked over and Greg was wheeling a cart and I'm like, whose cart is that? And he's like, I thought it was ours. He just stole someone's cart. <laughs> That's not ours. I didn't have a cart. And also they don't have any gingerbread houses that we can make. They're just like weird ones. So we might go to Target because it's right across the street. Okay, let's try this again. Since when do they have an M&S section in Target? Also, should I get this? Right. <laughs> Look at all this British stuff. Classic house with a handle. Like you're bringing home a hamster from the pet store. <laughs> okay, let's get extra stuff in case. So Greg, do you, what do you think of the Taylor Swift Kanye lore? What side are you on? I forgot to explain the context here. I basically spent like 20 minutes explaining the entire Taylor Swift Kanye drama from the very start until all the way through Reputation. And then I also explained the whole like Scooter Braun drama and why she's re-recording her music. And I wish I was recording the conversation. I thought I was, but I wasn't. I literally broke down song lyrics. I broke down everything to my entire family. Everyone was just sitting in the living room. They were victims. And I was giving them a full speech. I was preaching to them for like 20 minutes. And I've realized I wasn't recording. And this was the only clip I actually recorded. It was like the follow-up of me asking his opinion. And then my mom started playing Taylor Swift. She's like, this is so relatable. The song was Karma. I was like, oh, but yeah, I wish I was recording the conversation. It was so funny. I literally pulled up the lyrics of Pass Me. I want to tell you not to get lost in these petty things. Your nemeses will defeat your themselves before you get the chance to swing. I literally pulled that up and I was like, look at those lyrics. Think about what I told you about the song Famous by Kanye West and think about how Kanye's life turned out now versus Taylor Swift now. I literally broke down the whole thing and I can't believe I wasn't recording it. One job. I have one job. That's like if dad was bullying a 19 year old. Oh, it's horrible, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is the fallout that she had to That's take the fallout. Bad. That's what's bad. Yeah, she had to go underground for a year. You gotta read the lyrics. Swipe up. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is our theme song. Well, her song's also about, not just about Kanye, but also about her old manager that sold all her music, which is right. why she has to- Scooter. No, he's the one that bought it. Oh, oh her, the old manager. Um, I just brought my brother home and dropped off all the gingerbread stuff and then realized I actually want to come back to Target because the new Heartstopper book came out, I think volume five, and I need to get it. 
now which is perfect too because i have five books left to reach my reading goal of the year and those books i read in one sitting because they're like um graphic novels you know how i love heartstopper i read the first four books in like one day over summer and it's one of my favorite shows of all time and i need to read the last installment this is literally the last book in the series and i love that i like read volume four already so like i know what's gonna happen in the next season of the show and now i'm gonna know what's gonna happen in the oh i just actually and now I know what's gonna happen even after that once I read this one. After the, the way the last one was, I'm scared because the last one was like sad and dark, but I love Nick and Charlie so much. So we're gonna go back and hopefully they have it. I really hope they did. I forgot it even came out. And also my mom made me get bread. So it's like kids, oh, young adult. I really hope they have it. Uh, oh no, I don't see it. Where is it? They don't have it. They do have this one. They literally have all of them besides the one that I want. I'm gonna search through literally every section just to make sure. Okay, so they didn't have the book I wanted. So I was feeling really sad and defeated and depressed and I bought four more books and then immediately went and placed an order online for the book I originally wanted. So I got five books because they didn't have the one. Anyways, haul. I got This Winter by Alice Osman. This is one of the Heartstopper novellas that I haven't read yet and it's perfect because it's Christmas time in it. And this isn't a graphic novel, like it's an actual book. Like every few pages, there's a little graphic part. So look at Nick on the back. And then Charlie's family on the front. So cute. And then I also got Nick and Charlie, which is another Heartstopper novella, but this is another like actual book, not a graphic novel, which I haven't read yet. So I got that. Then these are two books I've already read, but I don't own physical copies of, and they were 20% off. So I decided, girl math, I had to get them. Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. There's nothing special to me about this book, but I want to own it anyway. So I got it. And then hopefully these stickers come off easily because who puts a sticker right there on the cover? Are you actually for real? But this is the book I just read, Mr. Fixer Upper by Lucy Score. Thank God they made a discreet cover because the original one, I'm going to put it on the screen. It is so cringe. Like, I actually can't believe they got that published. I was like listening to it on my audiobook on the plane. And every time I turned off my phone, it was like this giant picture of two people having sex on the screen. I'm like, oh my God. And like the book wasn't even that smutty. Like what? Yeah, so I got those two because I already have the Christmas fix, which is the second one. So like now I have the whole series, even though I've already read it. I want to own it in the discreet cover version, obviously. Also tell me why I just looked up if there's uh, any bookstores nearby because I wanted to go see if they had the Heartstopper book. And there's no bookstores or there's not even a Barnes and Noble within like a hundred mile radius. The closest bookstore was like a, a thrifting used bookstore. So I was like, they're not gonna have a brand new book. But it's kind of like a vacation town where they live. It's really crowded right now because a lot of people are here for the holidays. Anyway, that's my little book haul. Plus I got bread, which my books are crushing right now. Literally before I even left the store, I placed an online order for volume five. But I'm gonna drive back now. And I think, cause I finished the Bromance Book Club last night, I can start a new book. So I think I might read these two novellas. Also, I think we're gonna go back and build gingerbread houses at some point. And I also want to go to the beach for sunset because my parents can, you can walk to the beach from their house. Look what I found. Hello, New York. Do you want to try it on? Can I put it on you? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh my God. What do I look like? An ogre. <laughs> look at yourself. <laughs> in a rock band in like the 80s. <laughs> it's so itchy. <laughs> Come here. Let's put your sweater on. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Perfect. Okay, Coco, come here. <laughs> yeah. He never moves when he has that on. He's frozen. Rock. Are you frozen? Come here. Come here. <laughs> come here. Are you okay? Come here. His <laughs> tail's okay. wagging. He just can't move. Come here. One step at a time. Wait, why does he think he can't walk? I don't know, I think he thinks he's like restricted. Coco's fine. Mm -hmm. We all have our Christmas PJs on. We're going to the beach. Have they ever been to the beach? Probably not. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, stop it. Why is he chewing on <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that wasn't very cute. Oh. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Go, go. You like the beach, Coco? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Dog Beach. 
I don't know if she's ever been on the sand before. Oh, look at her go. The pier is here. But I think we're gonna go back before it's dark. Come on. We had to come up here because the dogs are barking at everyone. Aren't you? She's cold. <laughs> Probably because I have a dog in my sweater. <laughs> oh no. It's the, uh, the actual tree limb. It's time to construct. Can we have like a um, cutting board? Couple, but you can't stay on it forever. Oh, this is the roof thing that we can put inside. We have to build it up. Or... We need like a plate or something to build it on. Okay, we each can get our own icing thing. Mm, it smells so good. Do you want to be the holder or the icing splitter? <laughs> you be the holder. You don't need a holder. <laughs> While while we're eating. Why do you smell it? It smells weird. Oh, oh god, oh, no, oh, god. it's rolling really off. We need a knife. Knife. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, it didn't actually fall off. Gracias. Why is that one like yellow? Because it's vanilla. Yeah, what is that? Red. White. <laughs> I don't think it has a taste. You hold those two. Uh, or just one for now, I think. Okay, let's try not to crack it. I think it. it's better if we put it in between both. Hey, look, it's actually staying. But it's actually not staying very well. It looks smaller than I thought it would be. Should we let this dry first? That's boring. That's Wait, a lot of glue. oh, we're supposed to build it on this board so we can decorate it. Here we go. Wow. That was pretty sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> weird. Rice Krispies. With your bare hand? Yeah. Mmm. I got your code now. Great. The change Wait, Craig, you're squishing the house into a literal rhombus. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! I can't. You're guess. deforming it. Just hold it up. Don't squeeze it. Yeah, the walls aren't even touching though. This is a Look at this wall. No! Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's already started. I just what I was saying. It wasn't touching. You need to take this side. Oh my oh god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The wall on this side is you not even like touching. You look like a regular baker with that thing. <laughs> I know. Okay, look at the set immediately. <laughs> Are we sure this is structurally sound right now? Oh my god, look how good that is. Uh, <laughs> Are we seeing the same thing? I'm gonna be Johnny Appleseed and play Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> Are you gonna make a whole forest around it? Yes. <laughs> Now I'm gonna try to take this thing off, and if it collapses, at the same time? should we like break it? Should we cut it? Oh wait, look. Oh. Did it work? You don't need a chimney. Yeah, that's not bad. Should I squirt this into my mouth? No. Finger. <laughs> nice little dollop. Eric, you want some frosting? Mm. That's the best part. <laughs> oh. yes. That looks pretty done to me. What do you think? Oh, no, not my entire hand. <laughs> Want a little squeeze? <laughs> <laughs> what is you? Not that much. Wait, I need it to go down. That's this funny. is our dinner. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks bad. <laughs> I'd give it like a That's six out of ten. Wait, oh, no, the tree fell off the front. Now that the gingerbread house is done, I think I'm gonna sit in here and read for a little bit. Sorry if you can hear literally everyone out there being super loud. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I just looked up the reading order for Heartstopper and this is why I can't film here. My house is just really tiny, <laughs> so you can hear everything. Anyways, what I was trying to say is I looked at the Heartstopper reading order and from what I infer, this book actually takes place after volume five even though it was written before volume five came out because this is like they're trying to figure out how they're going to do long distance when nick goes to college so i'm going to save this and i'm going to read this winter because this one actually takes place like during volume four three 
three, I think. But I'm gonna sit here and I think I'm gonna read this whole thing right now because it's obviously really short. Even the words on the pages are like huge. So she's like, I can read this in like a half hour. Oh, I love this part at the end. I have like all their different pictures. I missed them. Oh, I just finished. I literally just read that in like 35 minutes. But it's so nostalgic because I read the original first four Heartstoppers in this same bed in like August, I think, before I moved to Charleston. And then I was just reading this. I was like, oh, that's so funny because it's literally, when I was reading it, I was like, it feels like being in this room. And now I'm in this room reading it again. <laughs> but that was cute. It was kind of just like a really short story. It was like basically like three chapters of a book and they're from each of the siblings perspectives which i thought was really cool even the baby brother obviously charlie's perspective is my favorite but i do like reading about the sister too and i know she has her own books so maybe one day i'll read her books but that was so short it was about christmas day i just love nick and charlie so much and i'm really hope that they get their happy ending like charlie deserves it nick deserves it too but like charlie's just like so unhappy and i want him to be happy now i can start another another book tonight <laughs> Okay, now I really want to go make a hot chocolate. Today has felt so Christmassy. I mean, no, we literally went to the beach. <laughs> but as Christmassy as it can get when you live in the South and in Florida. <laughs> it lasted that whole time. It hasn't collapsed. Wow, fancy. hot chocolate is so good i'm looking for my next book to read right now and i know i brought specific books to read but i'm also me so i don't want to read any of those right now because i came across this girl talking about on tiktok a book called with love from cold world by alicia thompson and apparently it's a romance that takes place during christmas in florida and you know what time it is it's christmas and you know where i am in florida so i got the book on my phone <laughs> so i think i'm gonna read that starting tonight i'll let you know how it goes i've never read from this author before but i guess we'll find out i told myself i was gonna stop taking tiktok wrecks i always end up a little bit disappointed whenever i like just read a book from seeing one tiktok about it but i never learned my lesson either so i'm gonna do it again oh there's a lot of trigger warnings okay 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 so this is gonna be like a deeper one but it's in the third person this is the third third person book i've read in a row the christmas fix no fourth because mr fixer upper third person the christmas fix third person a very merry bromance third person and now this third person what is with all this i mean i don't hate it because third person you're still like in their head you still see all their thoughts and everything but it just feels like a little bit disconnect when they're like saying like lauren went to the grocery store instead of like i went to the grocery store you know like it feels a little feels like i'm like looking over in at them instead of like being in the story it's 11 30 right now so i don't know much how much later i'm going to be awake but wait i just thought of a good question of the day to ask you guys and that is where do you live or <laughs> Not in a stalker way, that sounds like a stalker, but like, where are you from? Like, where do you currently live? Like, country, state, city, whatever, wherever you guys live. I'm curious if there's like multiple people from the same places, or like, there's a trend. Like, if all of a sudden, like, a big percentage of you guys are from like Pittsburgh. <laughs> so random. So, comment down below what city, state, or country you're from, and then also comment what we would do or what I would do if I came to your city for a day what would be something we would have to do. I think it's time to answer the question of the day because I am falling asleep and I want to make sure I end this video before I do. But I found one from at Christelle Murrigan. They asked, if you had to live in a loop of the same day over and over, what would you do? Basically, this is just like describing what my perfect day would be. So my perfect day would be me waking up in the comfiest bed in the world, the love of my life, my hot husband, sleeping right next to me. This is fictional, okay? And I wake up, I have full night's sleep, but it's still early because I have a full day ahead of me. The sun is shining through the blinds and I can see like the reflection of the sun on the wall. And I just know it's gonna feel so nice when I go outside. I make myself the most delicious coffee I've ever had in my life, like perfect ratio. It tastes delicious. And I go out on my porch and I have a porch swing. The sun is shining on my face and I'm reading 
a really really good book and i sit out there until i finish my coffee then i go on a walk i meet up with my best friend adriana and we talk and we gossip we go to the beach and we hang out at the beach and we swim in the ocean it's a summer's day but there's a breeze and it's not too hot where you're sweating you just feel the sun on your skin and the water's warm we hang out there for a while then i go back home and i take a shower and I put on a cute dress. One of us is hosting a dinner party in the yard. All my friends and family are there. There's really good food and really good dessert. We're all talking, we're all laughing. Again, my man is there, very important. We're all hanging out in this yard, having a good old time. And I still am feeling the sun on my skin because the sun hasn't set yet because it's summer and the sun doesn't set till 9 p.m. I decide we should go to the beach for sunset. So I get in the car passenger seat with my man drive with the windows down stick my head out the window like a dog singing my favorite songs as the sun is slowly starting to set we get to the beach we watch the sunset have a magical evening my dogs are there and then the sun sets we go home and then all my friends my besties come over to my house we're inside in the living room and we're talking we're laughing and we're having leftovers from our big dinner and we're all telling stories and cracking up and then I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna call it a night tonight and I go back to bed with my man. It's an early night and we're gonna lay here and finish reading our books. And then we lay there reading the best book I've ever read and he's sitting there reading whatever book he's reading, whatever he's doing. And when we're falling asleep, it starts raining out. It starts drizzling and I can hear it on the window. And I know in my head that the next day, it's not gonna be rainy anymore because I get to live this day on loop. So I just get to sleep with the sound of the rain. That's my perfect day. And I would live that on loop over and over and over again. If you guys want to also answer that question, you know I'd love you to. And I will be reading all of your responses. So I'm really sad because I wish I could live that day over and over and over again. I wish I could live that day once. I've had days pretty damn close to that. So, pretty lucky for that. But that would be my ideal day on loop. Oh, I forgot. There would also, at that outdoor barbecue, there would also be like a live band playing any song we request. And there'd be like a little dance floor where people were dancing. And there'd be like string lights. It would be the best day ever. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye!